this week's Makeup Monday. So today I'm going to be doing a quick little everyday makeup routine when I'm just like doing something on my face. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys what I do for that. Um, please excuse my hair. I got this little clip in the side because these pieces keep hanging. This side actually stays put for some reason. But I'm trying not to put any gel in my hair because I'm getting my hair done on Friday. So yeah, your girl going to be laid and splayed in a bit. I just got this little bun, little middle part with a bun. But we want to do our makeup super, super quickly, okay? Um, obviously, I just moisturized my lips. Please excuse the ice cream truck. It literally decided to come down the street as soon as I started to film. So I'm just using this hydrating chapstick. I feel like I always use it. My camera battery is probably about to die, so I definitely have to do this quickly. So I do prime my face with the Milk Makeup Face Primer. I'm really hoping that this camera don't die. Although I'm doing a very, very quick light makeup, I still prime my face. Then we take the Milk Makeup Concealer. You can use any concealer, but I just use concealer. And I go right in under the eye. Cause that's really what you really wanna cover up. Is your dark under eye circles. I got this mark I always talk about. Across my nose, I don't know why. Your T-zone, obviously. So you just conceal where you would normally put concealer. The only part you're skipping is the foundation part. Because foundation is not always necessary. For some, but not for me. Uh, then I'm going to take my concealer brush. This is this angle brush that I got in my Etsy Glam Bag. And you just blend it in. Also putting it on the lid as well to act as a, an eyeshadow base and that will require less eyeshadow on the on the eyelid if that makes sense to anyone. It's really really the allergy season this season is really really bad so my eyes are super super like puffed and dark and it just looks like I'm not getting any sleep although I am getting sleep um yeah so your girl really needs to conceal under her eyes okay because I need let me tell ya allergies is not where it's at cover up some spots on the forehead you know just trying to make it we're just trying to pretty much like even out this in tone but still keep it very light and natural looking like you still want to see the blemishes but you want to kind of like still make it look like they're not as bad as they are <laughs> so. Right, there are some days where I'm just like you know one day I wanted to like just like I looked at kind of crazy in the morning and I just wanted to you know do something real quick for work I would just do this powder and go so I'm gonna do a little bit more today so I'm gonna take the uh, fluffy brush and the milk makeup blur powder oh, it's actually dry. Um, this is the blur powder so this is also going to blur out any you know any unwanted things on the face 
and also set the concealer. Alright, so now that we got that done, the next thing I'm going to do is brush out my brizzles. And, and I fill them in very, very lightly. Not too not, nothing too crazy. Using my item brow child eyebrow pencil. And I just basically I don't want them to be perfect because this is not one of those, you know. I'm not supposed to be giving perfect brows. I really just like scribble in, in the front. We want it to look like natural hair, so it is. You know, we just want the brows to kind of not look non existent, you know. So we kind of like fill in. I guess if you're like scribbling, you see, you can kind of see the difference. So yeah, we just do that. You know. And if you want it, you could still carve out the brow, carve out these brows. You know, make it a little sculpt. But that's not what I do. Just like that. Sometimes, depends if I wanted to make it look like I did, like did a little bit more effort. You can do that. You know, if you don't have time to do like your full on face beat, and you want to make it look like you did a little bit more. You do that and then I just brush them out. And set them with a clear gel. This is the Milk Makeup Clear Gel Setting Spray. I hope you guys can hear me because my air conditioner is on. Um, but if you can't, Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is go in with my everyday eyeshadow. It's the Kylie Jenner Burgundy Palette, and it's the color Almond that I hit pan on, but there is some in the crevice, and I want you guys to see this look, the way that I do it every time. I literally just take it in, go on in there, and I tap off any excess, and I just tap that on. This color makes it look like, you know, you try, boo. It really does. It's just so gorgeous on the eye. It just vibrates everything. That's why you don't really have to do too much. You just pop on a nice neutral pop of color eyeshadow. You don't want it to be too much because your face is very, you know, chill. But you don't want it to be non-existent. Like I could have just left the concealer on my eye lid like I did. And then just like, like a pressed powder on the top. Uh, which I do sometimes as well. But, like I said, this is like, if I'm going to karaoke and I want to do my makeup real quick, or if I feel like doing something for work, which I might start doing because, I mean, like I said, the mask thing um, is the reason why I stop. So, yeah, you just pop on some eyeshadow and it just makes that much more of a difference. All right, so we, we're almost done. Next thing I do is I do mascara. So I'm just going to take, and I take a, a chill, um, a chill mascara. This is just the CoverGirl um, Lash Blast. Okay, it's called Lash Flash, and yeah, I just put that on my lashes because you don't want to take one of your like super super drastic mascaras that make your eyes that make your lashes like super super pop because guys, this is not that look. I told you already. You just want something that's gonna like make your lashes stand out, but still look make them look natural. And every time I use this mascara, Jinx knock on wood, I poke myself in the eye because the brush is so thin and I just be going to town with it and I poke myself in the eye. So I'm trying not to do that today because when I do do that, then tears come out and it's just a bad job. 
and that obviously mascara was going to definitely make a difference y'all already knew that mascara and lip gloss is all a bitch really need in this life of stuff but So then once we do that, pop on this lip plumper, the milk makeup lip plumper. On. And then you, you feel the burn on it. You feel the burn. And then I take this press powder by black radiance and then I put that underneath my eyes because it like highlights it it's like an extra layer of just mm. let me see what that does See what that does to your girl. All right, and yeah, and this is it. I don't do no highlighter. I don't contour anything. I just do this, and obviously set it with some setting spray. Cause you still want it to last throughout the day or throughout the quick little errand or whatever you're gonna do. And yeah, you now obviously there's more things you can do. You can throw a little contour on the cheek if you want to add some dimension into the face. You can obviously highlight a natural highlight, something like sometimes I take like my Fenty um, stick in the color cinnamon and I just warm it up on the finger, like so, like that, just do that, and then I just sometimes just dab it into the skin and it just adds like a nice dewy natural highlight but like I said you don't have to do that it's not necessary on the lip and the, and the corners and the brow bone. okay so that just added just like a little you know pop of whatever so yeah, that is like a super, super quick little makeup. So what we did, we did concealer, we did, we filled in the brows just a little bit, some pop on some gel, eyesh one eyeshadow, just a simple eyeshadow, just on the lid, and you can always just take your eyeshadow brush that you use and just apply a little bit more, because once you apply mascara sometimes, you know, you just need that extra little pop. Uh, you can also take this and apply it to the bottom lash line. Uh, the bottom lash liner, you know, to add like a little bit more pop. And yeah, you can add a lip liner, you can add a lip another lip gloss. You can even add like a natural looking lipstick, like um this milk makeup lip and cheek tint. If I pop that on, it just makes my lips a little bit more pouty pink and just like naturalizes my lips a little bit more so yeah you can do that as well just to keep the lip look super chill and simple oh, something in my eye but yeah so I hope you guys like enjoyed this makeup Monday it was my simple everyday makeup routine like real life not like a some people like oh yeah we're gonna do our everyday makeup routine and they'd be like your setting like you're, you're letting powder set that is not I, like i'm not setting nothing every day shh, shh, so no. <laughs> but some girls do do that like this is a realistic everyday makeup routine super super quick i did this in less than like i did it in like seven minutes so if you gotta get up for work real quick concealer brows eyeshadow lips mascara that's it Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.